city centre, but the players have been treated to these wonderful beaches. Beautiful sunshine and sand. And in fact, this is the hotel that they've all been staying at. Quite beautiful. So our next final is winning singles. And after that we'll have women's doubles, then men's doubles, and then men's singles. We'll finish today's finals day at the 26th staging of the World Championships. So Tai Su Ying, the world number one Olympic silver medalist, up against the former world number one, the number two seed here at the World Championships, Akane Yamaguchi. the women's singles, the women's doubles, and like the women's singles, you can see that it features number one and two seeds. Chen 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 and Jai Fan are actually the only players in today's finals lineup who have actually won a world title previously. That was back in 2017 in Glasgow. Oki and Kobayashi well, they've been in a World Championship final, but I think the biggest surprise of all the uh, finals here today is probably the men's singles. Of course, uh, we lost the two-time defending champion before the tournament began, which was a disappointment. Uh, but what an opportunity for the two men's singles finalists. But here, uh, we can look at the women's singles draw from the sort of final stage. Six different nationalities with the three players from China, as you can see. Two played each other at the quarter-final stage. Two former champions in the quarter-final. Ratchanok Intanon from Thailand. She lost in the quarter-final. So did the defending champion, Gustavo Venkata Sindhis, right at the top of the draw, playing against Tai Su Ying in that quarter-final stage. So, by semi-final, we still had two Chinese players. Uh, but it was the top two seeds who came through to meet in today's final. The Olympic silver medalist. But this is the first time that she has won a medal at the World Championships. Hugely popular all over the world due to her style of play and her great sporting spirit. She was a bronze medalist at the World Championships three years ago in Nanjing. And for Yamaguchi, this is her fourth final in her eighth tournament of the year. Well, for Tai Su Ying, it's an eighth consecutive final, uh, going back to the World Tour Finals of 2019. that is the reason why Tai Su Ying is the world number one at the moment. This will be an 18th meeting between these two players of the previous 17. Tai Su Ying has won 10 of them. But the last time they met it was Yamaguchi who won. Oh, now there's been a choice of ends and I think that came from Tai Su Ying. 
Last time they met was the semi-final of the Indonesia Super 1000 back in 2019. And Yamaguchi won 21-9, 21-15. But, I have to say, in Indonesia, playing in Istora Sanayan in Jakarta, one of the most iconic badminton venues in the world, it is very, very drifty. And I personally think that probably affects the game of Tai Soon Ying who has wonderful skills and likes to play with uh, precision. Well, the world number one, Tai Su Ying, is 27 years of age now, born in Kaohsiwa. And she has been world number one now this 194th week in total. No player from Chinese Taipei has ever won a gold medal at the World Championships. They have six medals in total across all five disciplines, which is quite extraordinary. Uh, but for Tai Su Ying, who has been in four consecutive All England finals, uh, won three titles, Asian Games gold medalist, and looking at her path through, well, in the third round, she was uh, really given a fright by Scotland's Kirsty Gilmore. Went to three games there. Quarter final, she beat the defending champion, who's Sala Venkata Sindhu, in two straight games. Semi final was a close match against the 2018 bronze medalist and the Olympic semi finalist, Herbin Xiao, the left hander from China. Just shy of the hour mark that semi final yesterday. So, to the number two seed, Akane Yamaguchi, well, she was world number one. Uh, for a total of 10 weeks across two different spells. One player from Japan has won a World Championship gold medal and that was Nozomi Okuhara. I'm talking about the women's singles discipline, of course, and that was four years ago. Ready to play? But Akane Yamaguchi, well, she had a seed in the third round, her teammate, Sayaka Takahashi and then her only three game match was against the winner of the World Tour Finals and Se Young, three games there. Chang Yiman was her opponent in the semi-final she came from 13-17 down in that second game and probably won eight out of ten points to win it 21-19. So a great comeback in the second game of her semi-final. Well, our court officials for the women's singles final, Umpar Chiapini from Italy and service judge Lopez from Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Akane Yamaguchi, Japan. And on my left, Tai Su Ying, Chinese Taipei. Akane Yamaguchi to serve. Level, play. So the former world number one and number two seed, Akane Yamaguchi, nearest to us of Japan, up against the current world number one. Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei. There. Well, Akane Yamaguchi is a very, very fast player and a great retriever of the shuttle. And Tai Su Ying, I suppose, Gordon, if I was summing oh. her up, beautiful movement, but probably the greatest variety of shot of any women's singles player, probably past and present. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anything like it. Of course, we have to mention uh, Ratchanog Intanon. Yeah. Very similar. 
But yes, I, I do agree. It's so gracefully, whatever she's doing. Yeah. I think we can accept the unexpected more with Tai Su Ying, so in comparison to yeah, the formal royal chapter of Russia. Yeah. I, I agree with what? you on that. But I think we have a, a fantastic match in front of us here and it would be impossible to predict what's going to happen. There are so many scenarios, so many things that can go right, so many things that can go wrong. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I think one of the keys will be whether Tai Su Ying can keep her patience when uh, the shuffle keeps coming back, when she hits what she would normally expect to be winners. If they keep coming oh. back, then she does tend to sort of get a bit frustrated and then the errors start to flow. Yeah. It goes tighter. Yeah. And then, as you say, the errors are Three, coming. Two. But I don't think that Yamaguchi can only rely on retrieving skills. I think she needs to... to so go out there and try to win points as well. Three, all. By, by what? Going for angles or going, going for attack? For, a bit of both. Yeah. I don't think retrieving in itself will be enough for her. It's gone wrong. Four, three. Uh, Both players Four. needs to settle Four. in a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's a good angle. Five. Four. Well, no really long rallies at the moment. But that's typical of Tai Sui. talking in the mixed doubles about both the mixed doubles finalists who played an awful lot of tournaments and so has Akane Yamaguchi. She played in Europe, played in Indonesia, in Bali, whereas this is the first tournament since the Olympic final for Tai Su Ying. Yeah, it can work both ways, can it? It can. Uh, but, but yes, I, I do think it must be as a small advantage for Tai Sui Ying because now you know, getting to the final playing her uh, sixth match. Brilliant! What a rally! Seven, Which means that Tai Sui Ying then, of course, is settled in. Yeah. And should be okay. And then, of course, I think Yamaguchi had played something like, what, 35, 36 matches over the past few months and uh, yeah. it's a heavy load. It certainly is. Yeah, that's oh, good, that's gosh, good. She, good. She took that early, didn't she? she? Did. So Great anticipation, Five, she knew it was coming. Seven. Yeah, played a lovely, lovely net shot. That's a good punch, clear. But that's what I meant when I said earlier, she needs to go out Six, and score her own points seven. as well. Cannot only rely on the mistakes from her opponent, and that's exactly what she's doing now.
lovely. Yeah, very good. Good pace. Beautiful. And this is exactly what Seven. you were talking about, Jill. Where the Tyson Ying has got the patience to play rallies like this and is not getting frustrated. Really well played by Yamaguchi. Oh, what a backhand. Backhand drive so down the line from Tyson Ying. Oh. What a magnificent shot. Yeah. Good balance, wasn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Well, that's going wide. Yeah. I'm sure you can put me out of my mission Nine, with your... Eight. I think. I called this match in Singapore in 2018. I think these two players played. And it was such a fantastic match. And I think Yamaguchi was way up, but somehow Taisu managed to get back to win it. Time is over. Nine, all. The Singapore Open. Singapore Open. I don't remember that. Okay, then you can't put me out of my misery. Then I'll have to keep searching my mind. Oh, yes, that's a super job. Ten, nine. And the problem for opponents of Tai Su Yin, because she's so deceptive, uh, you have to keep sort of changing direction. Look at how Yamaguchi there had to change direction and stop again and then try and move off. Keep changing direction is very energy sapping. It's wide. Silver, ten, <laughs> it was Singapore 2019 and not 18. Tai Su Ying is winning 21 19 in the third game, but the second game is 24 22. Akane Yamaguchi challenges gold out. So if we have a, a match half as good as that, then what do you say? Uh, I would say we're <laughs> in for a treat. Yeah. You know, strapping's coming off. And full of Akane Yamaguchi. She's not happy with the strapping. But she'll be very happy with her challenge there. Correction in. So... It is 11, 10, the one point advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah, that was clearly on the line. Exactly. Yeah. It's still really quite full. Yeah. So. yeah, it's got a capacity of five and a half thousand. Twelve, ten. Not quite a capacity, but a very good crown nonetheless. Yes. Well judged. Yeah. 
Sam is over. 11, 12. Exactly what you were talking about. Yeah, she's got to mix it up as, as what Akani Yamaguchi is doing right now. She's having some rallies where it's, it's purely retrieving and other rallies, as just this one where she's going in and taking the initiative. And she's playing really well at the moment. It's well along with the back line. 14, 11. Tai Ying supposedly is playing against the drift. Well, I'm not so sure. Oh, she didn't even move to that. What on earth happened there? 15, 11. reach it. I think it was a good shot from Yamaguchi. Well, it's a good spell from Yamaguchi too because it's six of the last seven points. Mister. Uh, that's a missing from Yamaguchi's perspective. Serve is over. And that's well, kind of the most reaction you would get from yes. Yamaguchi. Fifteen. Tyson, you for Yamaguchi to feed off in her defence. Favourite shot. Forehand flick. It's a really, really good pace, one has to say. It's the pace that's doing it for Akana Yamaguchi at the moment. 16, 13. I remember the World Championship final two years ago in Wharton and I felt that Pusana Venkata Sindhu, the shot that won the match, I thought was her attacking clear. Yes. And we've already seen it a number of times from Yamaguchi. Yeah, but you don't have to convince me it's an... Underrated shot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Another error from Tyson Yin. 17, 13. Talking about that attack and clear. Herbin Jiao played an attack and clear on Tyson Yin yesterday in the semi final. One of the best I've ever, really? ever seen. Tyson Yin was always out of her shoes to get it. She was completely fought. There's another. Yeah. What a rally. Yeah. And a dispirited looking tie to the ink. As Akane Yamaguchi opens up a five point cushion. Nineteen, 
13. Service over. 14, 19. Yeah. So game point opportunities to so the so Gucci. 20, game point 14. Game. Opening game 21 14. First game won by Akane Yamaguchi. And the current world number one, Tai Suri Ying, just didn't look settled at all because Akane Yamaguchi played an outstanding opening game to take it 21 14 in 17 minutes. support on that thigh or Good. hamstring muscle and obviously it's been giving her more problems sometimes when you wear so much strapping you you feel more injured yeah oh it's, it just feels too restrictive yes yeah oh thank goodness from, from a heart stopping moment there i thought she was perhaps going to pull out but me too i, I yeah. think about enough please don't no we want to see a fight. We certainly do. Second game. Level. Play. So, Kane Yamaguchi, one game to the good. 21-14, that opening game. Oh, Stones went in the right at that. So, it's over. One. And yeah. one of the things to think about, Morton, I mean, we've, we've already mentioned that this will be a first medal for Tai Su Ying. When you've been world number one for so long, she was five times beaten in the quarterfinal yes. of the world championships. Right. Never made a medal position. And she missed 2017 because she wanted to play in the World University Games in her home city of Taipei. Yeah. And I remember she said at the time, you know, oh, there'll be plenty more opportunities for world championships. Now time's running out. And I think she's probably put herself under huge pressure that, you know, she's talked about retirement already. Yes. Talked about retirement after the Olympics. Well, she doesn't win now. Uh, but that's huge self-imposed pressure now. Uh, she had a yeah, golden opportunity. I, in all honesty, again, if she had played in 2017, she would have won it. 
Yeah. yeah. She, she was so much better than Sam all Zilda. of them back in 2017. One, all. all the women singles. And as you rightly you say, put a lot of pressure on yourself to perform. And time is running out. Yeah. But she, she's got to stay cool and calm and, and really add on the pressure and play that extra shot the whole time. The problem is that, she, again, what you said, Jill, she doesn't like to be asked to play that extra shot like this mm. one. Yeah. Then the mistakes are creeping into her game. Yeah. And she's got to what? stay patient. And she's got to really keep it together and wait for the right chances. Mm. Otherwise, this one will be slipping away from her. Yeah. set it earlier at, uh, in other tournaments as well when it comes to Tai Suhin. In the past four years, either the players are getting really used to the way she plays or the sharpness of her shots are not the same as what they used to be. Yeah. And, and I'm actually thinking a lot about the drop shots from the back. Um, we see Yamaguchi getting to that very easy and yeah. very high. So it's Four. a very One. significant sign of the fact that either the shots are not sharp enough or as sharp as they used to be or the players she's playing simply reading the game much, much better. Yeah. I certainly don't think she's quite as quick as she once was, Tai Su Ying. Now we saw that when uh, she had to get that drop shot just before and she didn't get to it. Yeah, lovely drop from Tai Su Ying, setting herself Sam up. Zilda. Oh, there's a huge Two. amount of sport Four. here in Welver for Tai Su Ying. That's really a nice kill. Well, very well played at the front. I think Three, it's uh, quite interesting. Four. It's a wonderful shot, but Tai Su Ying is standing absolutely still after that shot. Try to have a look. Coming now. And she's just stranded at the back of the court. She could not have envisaged that was an outright winner. Oh, oh yes. Such deception. Oh. Oh. oh! This is a good fight back. Tyson down to the Four. side of the court asking her coach would it have gone wide. This one she hesitated. I think she was right to play it. Six, really, really playing four. well now, Tai Su Ying. Six, 
somehow I just sometimes would like her not to play with that deception all the time, but just simply play pace. There's always a delay on every single shot she's playing, and sometimes the pace would do it for her. Missed it. Well, this is Seven six straight four. points for Tai Su Ying. She was 7 4 up in the first game, wasn't she? Seven's over. <laughs> Five, seven. <laughs> Tyson has really had a good spell here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a shocker. It is. Six, seven. One wonders how she can play so well and then suddenly after the blue the shot like that is coming. Yeah. with Tai Su Ying. is following the pattern of the open game. Four seven down to eight seven up. Yamaguchi. That's a great punch to wonderful shot. So I deserve that. This can turn out to be a fantastic match. more of what you wanted, just taking, exactly. it in, taking it early. For Precisely. It. I so agree with you. That's gone wide. Yeah. Instead of making that delay at the net, she played Nine, the quicker shot she could eight. play. Yeah. The spinning, short, straight net, net shot. Yeah. Down Nine, all. Yeah, we all know that Yamaguchi can play like this in the next two hours. She can keep this going. Pressure, the pace. Yeah, that's good play. Yeah, that's a lovely Ten. net shot. Nine. But once again. It demonstrates what you were talking about earlier. Just take the shuttle early at the front of the court. Take it as early as possible. Play a tight spinning net shot, yeah, yes. forcing the, uh, the opponent into error. So much more effective. Sometimes the delay, the disguise is really good, but if you do it all the time, it's sort of uh, wearing out in terms of uh, how effective it is. Yeah, good play from Yamaguchi. 11-9. Yeah. 
Very, very good off. play. And as in the opening game with Tianaguchi, who has the advantage of the big game in the ball. This time, though, a two-point advantage. Yamaguchi. 12, 9. I love that pressure into the deep forehand corner. Yeah. Tai Su Ying, no reply to it. And of course, we saw a wonderful follow up. Was it Ying, wasn't it? 13, yeah. 10. I know the smash from Yamaguchi, but the placement and the power was not really that good, and she was way out of court. Had that one just been over, I think it could have been a point for Tai Su Ying. Yeah, it's I not, agree. Even, not even close. She was standing there. Yamaguchi. Yeah, good judgment. Seeing fan is definitely worrying times now. Yeah, it certainly is. We saw her remove that strapping in between the first and second game. That's a good clear. Yeah. yeah. Well, quite frankly, Six, at the eight, moment, I can only ten. see one outcome. Both players is having this weakness sometimes of going on a little walk around. And Akane Yamaguchi is sometimes doing it as well. It's gone wide. But I don't think she would do it in a World Seven, Championship ten, final. No. Ten. I would be surprised if she can't stay focused. Well, as long as she doesn't serve the way she did in the World Championship semi final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of them. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, there's one-way traffic. It is. It is. all over by the celebrations as far as Yamaguchi is concerned. Tyson, you simply cannot push off and move in the way we're used to seeing her move.
Oh. That's a beauty. That is tight. Two like tantalising points yes. from the world title, Akane Yamaguchi. What a beauty. how tight he is, he also can play. That was a fantastic constructive rally. 19. Uh, good attempt by um, Gucci, I think. Yeah. Not the tallest of athletes. No, just under five foot two. Oh, and she's missed it. It's match point opportunities for Akane Yamaguchi. Match point 11. Game. And the serve is called good. What a tame way for the match to end. I feel like though that Tai Sujin did not challenge that one. Exactly. And this is the biggest celebration you get from uh, Yamaguchi. <laughs> a little smile, a message. 21-14, 21-11, the margin of her victory against the current world number one, Tai Sujin. Kami Yamaguchi becomes the world champion. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far as she goes. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. That's my celebration. Well, I don't think it's, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything to her. It's just, just her personality. Yes. I think she's a very, very happy player. Yeah. But how disappointing for Tai Sun Ying. Clearly, physically not at her best. Yeah, it was come on the line. Sporting, as you say, more emphasizing it, not to ask for the challenge. We saw that in the Olympic Games when the shuffle was well wide and the moment of victory, the elation, the moment of victory was stolen yeah, taken from, away. from opponents. But Yamaguchi's coach, Troyes and Bon, absolutely delighted. 21-14, 21 minutes. Well, Morton, that was a little bit disappointing. I, I had really, really looked forward to it. And biggest disappointment, of course, is for Tai Su Ying herself, that she wasn't, due to injury, able to produce her best. Yes. Uh, I think Yamaguchi did all the right moves. I really think she played well. She was not only retrieving, she was also controlling, and uh, it just got worse and worse for Tyson. Yeah. Well, three consecutive world championships. This is the finals where we've had a Japanese player. And it's the second time that a Japanese player has won a world championships. But uh, we should also take note of the fact that now Japanese women singles players have won medals at five of the last six world championships, going back to Minatsu Natani in Copenhagen in 2014. 2017, of course, it was Yamaguchi won a bronze medal. Uh, 2017, it was Okuhara who won gold. 2018, Yamaguchi a bronze, silver at the last World Championships for Okuhara, yeah. and now gold for yeah. Yamaguchi. Yeah. I know there's been two players involved a lot there, but you know, that's pretty impressive. Five of the last six World Championships Japanese players medal. And it just stresses the point, once again, I have to say it, it must be disappointing for the Olympics that they did not get a medal in the women's singles. Yeah. When they've done so well over the past five, six, seven years in the women's singles, and then home ground in Tokyo for the for the Olympics, not getting a medal. Absolutely. Oh, we 
must talk about Tai Su Ying. I mean, there's been all this talk of her retiring at the end of this year. Well, this is the last tournament yes. of 2021. I, for one, and I'm sure most badminton fans, neutral badminton fans, would be very disappointed if she retires because uh, she's such an entertaining player to watch. We didn't see that today. But what's your feeling? Do you think that now that uh, she's medaled at the Olympics, silver medal at the Olympics, silver medal at the World Championships, is she going to move on to pastures new? Impossible for you to say. You don't no. have insider information. No, I don't have, but I, I can only concur with you saying that I sincerely hope not. Uh, she's such an asset to, to badminton. Uh, we would love to see her for the, for the coming years and uh, she might not be as dominant as what she used to be in the past but she can still win tournaments and she can still be a threat to anyone. Yeah. Well, two bronze medals uh, here in Welda to two Chinese players. Of course, it was a huge shock when Chinese players back in 2015 failed to win a medal, and that was the first time in the women's singles discipline since they first participated. Uh, but it's the first time since 2011, so 10 years ago, that we've had two players in semi-final from China. So, does that indicate that China are, 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 is a resurgence, or do you think it's a little too early to uh, actually make that uh, assumption? I think, I think it's a little bit too early. It's been spearheaded by two players, Chen Yifei and Herbing Jiao. Yeah. They need to add on to that number. They need to have new young ones coming up. And perhaps as what we saw yesterday, when we saw uh, Chang Yi Man, yeah. I think perhaps she's one of the new ones coming up. But they need to add on to the two they have already yeah. to, to really gain that momentum. Here we go for the medal ceremony for the winning singles. in Welba at her first World Championships and she leaves with a medal. That's a pretty impressive debut. Tai seeing a first World Championship medal, but it is not the colour she so desired. A second World Championship medal and a thoroughly deserved gold medal. And look at the way Tai Su Ying is applauding. He said she will show great sporting spirits and that's in evidence here again today. Well, Chang Man receives her medal from Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. And I'm sure Chang Man's ranking will go up from 46 pretty sharply. Absolutely. Absolutely. The gold medal for Akane Yamaguchi, and once again, the abroad led by Tai Su. <laughs> I don't know, but am I the only one thinking that it would have been great if Carolina Marin was handing over something at this ceremony here in her hometown, Hong City, where it all started. 
Am I just the only one thinking that? Or? I'm sure you are not the only one thinking that. Okay, thank you. Columbus sailed to the Americas. was posed for the photographers. We look forward to our next final. Unlike the women's singles, it features the number one against the number two seeds. It's the former champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan of China up against Lee So He and Xin Xiang Chan of Korea.
fight.